Let's take a look at whether SEF4, selenium tetrafluoride, is polar or nonpolar. So we have the structure here. We're going to first look at electronegativity. So the selenium, that's in the center. If we look up the electronegativity for selenium, that's 2.55. Then each of these fluorine atoms here, 3.98. So this bond right here, we have a pretty big difference in electronegativity. And what that means is the electrons, there's a pair of electrons shared between the SE and the F atom, they're going to be shared unequally. They're going to spend more time around the more electronegative element. That's the fluorine. So this individual bond here is a polar bond, just like these bonds here. And since we have all of the fluorines on one side, we have them down here and then off to the side, that means that this side of the molecule is going to be more negative. Up here, it'll be more positive. We have a positive and a negative side. That means SEF4 is a polar molecule. This is Dr. B looking at the polarity of SEF4, selenium tetrafluoride. It is a polar molecule. Thanks for watching.